Buckle up, everyone, because today's deep dive is going to be epic, literally. We are talking about Universal Orlando's massive new project, Epic Universe. Opening May 22nd, 2025, this thing is huge EE. Huge EE is an understatement. Right. We're talking an entirely new theme park experience, not just an expansion. Exactly. So it's the largest of Universal Orlando's parks, part of a sprawling 750-acre expansion. I mean, wow. With all the hype, I just had to dig into the details for you. Of course, this project has been in development for years. Yeah. Years. With over $6 billion invested, the anticipation from parkgoers and investors alike is off the charts. So let's break down what awaits inside Epic Universe. Picture this. Five immersive worlds, each promising an escape unlike any other. First up, the wizarding world of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic. I know, I know, you're thinking another Harry Potter land, but trust me. Yeah, is that really necessary? You'll be saying that until you see it. Imagine stepping into the magic of the Fantastic Beasts films with that 1920s Paris charm, and then seamlessly transitioning to the Ministry of Magic from the later books, that 1990s London vibe. Okay, I can see where they're going with that. It'll be like walking through those iconic movie scenes. Speaking of which, can you imagine being in the heat of the battle at the Ministry attraction, fighting alongside Harry, Ron, and Hermione? Universal knows how to leverage those key moments, those instantly recognizable scenes to create a truly immersive experience. And that's precisely what they're doing with the next world too, Super Nintendo World. Oh yeah, with the success of the Super Mario Bros. movie earlier this year and you know, there are other Nintendo lands in Japan and Hollywood, this is gonna be packed from day one. I bet those lines for Bowser's Challenge and Minecart Madness with Donkey Kong will be insane. You're a big Mario Kart fan, right? Oh, absolutely. Minecart Madness is gonna be right up your alley then. Imagine racing through those iconic tracks brought to life with that signature universal detail. Okay, now I'm really getting hyped. Okay, from high octane kart racing, let's move on to something a little more, well, how should I put it? Family friendly. Yeah, exactly. How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke. That feels like a safe bet for everyone, don't you think? Definitely. Based on everything we're seeing, families are in for a treat. They're creating a whole Viking village, a family roller coaster called Hiccup's Wing Gliders, even a water ride. Rumor has it they might even have a live show. Okay, a Viking village. I am there. But for those looking for a bit more of a thrill, something a little darker, there's always Dark Universe. And this is where things get interesting. They're really turning the classic Frankenstein story on its head. What do you mean? This time, it's all about Dr. Victoria Frankenstein. She's the mastermind behind these monstrous creations. Whoa, a female Frankenstein. That's a really unique take. I love it. Okay. okay. So I'm assuming this all leads up to a Monsters Unchained, the Frankenstein Experiment attraction. Something super high thrill. You know it. And connecting all these unique worlds is Celestial Park, the central hub of Epic Universe. So more than just a hub, it sounds like an entire experience itself. Exactly. Picture this, lush gardens, beautiful waterways, even a visually stunning roller coaster, and of course, portals leading to the other four lands. Mm. Oh, and they're opening the Universal Helios Grand Hotel here, the first Universal Hotel with a dedicated theme park entrance. They are really pulling out all the stops to create that immersive multi-day experience. Universal isn't messing around. And this is where things get really interesting, right? Yeah. Universal's been building towards this since, well, you could argue since the first Wizarding World in 2010. Oh, totally. That was a game changer. Right. And now, I mean, it's bigger than just building a new park. They're trying to redefine the whole theme park experience. And based on those projections, they might just pull it off. I mean, some experts are saying Epic Universe will get over 6 million visitors in its first year alone. That's insane. And to put that in perspective, Disney hasn't even opened a brand new park in Orlando since Animal Kingdom. Oh, wow. 1998, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. This is a direct challenge, a gauntlet thrown down right at Disney's feet. And honestly, it might just be the thing to shake things up and spark a good old-fashioned theme park arms race in Orlando. Okay, but if we're talking about a battle of the theme park titans here, yeah, what does that mean for the average person who just wants to have a good time? Well, you hit the nail on the head, right? It's a double-edged sword. Yeah. On one hand, you've got the potential for some crazy innovation. Imagine, just imagine Disney countering this by dropping a mind-blowing, absolutely bonkers Star Wars experience that pushes the boundaries of what we thought theme parks could do. Mm. Or, or picture Universal taking virtual reality to a whole new level, like you're in the game, you know. I mean, yeah, 
signing up. That's the dream, right? Exactly. But, uh, you know, there's always a flip side. Yeah, there's going to be a catch. Right. With all that money being poured in, ticket prices are going to skyrocket. Mm -hmm. And then there's the crowds. Ugh, more people, longer wait times, less space to breathe. So it's a trade-off. Maybe bigger, bolder, more innovative experiences, but at what cost, right? Exactly. Something to think about. So, okay, we've covered a lot about the potential impact of Epic Universe, you know, on the theme park landscape. But let's get to the part I know everyone's thinking about, <laughs> actually experiencing it. Like, how do we snag those tickets? Well, Universal's doing a phased rollout, you know, going to build that hype. Mm -hmm. It all kicks off October 22nd, 2024. Oh, so soon. Right. Vacation packages and multi-day tickets, got to be three days or more, that include a day at Epic Universe. Those go on sale then. Okay. And what kind of damage are we talking price-wise? Think in the ballpark of, let's see, $375 to $555 for a three-day ticket. Ah. Huh. After tax, of course. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. But what about what about the annual pass holders? They got to get some kind of perk, right? Oh, absolutely. They get priority access to snag single-day Epic Universe tickets mm. on October 24th. Before everyone else. Oh, yeah. General public doesn't get a shot until later. Got to reward those loyal fans. Smart move, universal. So when can the rest of us get in on this? Single day tickets for the general public will be available closer to the opening. Okay, so they're keeping us waiting. Just a tad. But here's what I'm really curious about. All this tech, you know, Universal is incorporating into the park, facial recognition, photo validation, even robotics and drones. It's like wild. It really does feel like it glinks into the future of theme parks. Hmm. Imagine shorter wait times, experiences personalized just for you. But isn't that kind of, I don't know, a little Big Brother-ish? Yeah, there are definitely some valid concerns about privacy and data collection. Mm -hmm. Definitely something to keep an eye on as this technology becomes more common. It's true. But overall, I got to say, it seems like this expansion is about more than just, you know, Universal trying to keep up with Disney. It's almost a statement about what the future of theme park experiences could be and should be. Immersive, technologically advanced, just mind-blowing. So... Will it pay off? I guess we'll see. What do you think? Honestly, I think this is a turning point for the industry. The next few years are going to be very exciting. That's for sure. That's for sure. Well, folks, there you have it. Universal's epic universe. A bold gamble, a potential theme park revolution, and a whole lot of fun, hopefully. Until next time, keep exploring.